This is going to be a quick video about the plot density plot. Density plots are generally used for one numeric variable. Just like a histogram, a density plot helps us visualize measures of center, the mean and the median, the variation uh, or standard deviation, should be, a, should be a slash there, and the skew. Uh, the difference between a density plot and a histogram is that the density plot assumes the numeric variable is continuous. So that is for any interval within the values you have, the variable could theoretically take on any value within that interval. So that means it's not confined to like uh, discrete values. So if you think of temperature, anything in between, you know, I don't know, let's just make up a range. It doesn't even matter what the range is. From 32 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit, temperature could be any value in that range with as many decimal places as theoretically possible, even if we don't have the tools to measure those decimal places. Because it theoretically could take on any of those values, we call it continuous. This is different than if you were like counting the number of flowers in a field. There can only be you know, integer numbers of flowers in the field. So numbers count would not be continuous, but temperature would. The way you should think about a density plot is essentially just a smooth histogram. So let's draw out a histogram. And just because we haven't really had an example of a left skewed histogram, I will give us one. Right. So here is a histogram where all the numbers in whatever numeric variable we have have been binned. We have put into these bins of equal width the counts for however many data points we had within each bin. The density plot representation of that histogram would look like this we would still have whatever numeric variable it is on the x-axis. It would be our numeric continuous variable. And we would essentially just have a smooth representation of all of those data. It would theoretically be smooth because, again, thinking to temperature, it could take on any of those values within whatever range we have for our data. It doesn't have to take on those values. It only theoretically could take on those values. Now the difference on the y-axis is because it is a smooth curve now as a plot, you can't really have counts at any specific point because if you had a bunch of temperature measurements, theoretically it could take on any value within that range, but you certainly didn't get every value within that range. So if you picked out like some specific point underneath the curve and you asked how many, this is why you can't have counts there, if you asked how many observations you had at that exact point, think of that point being like 37.259237843465 you'd have zero observations with that exact value. So you can't have counts on the y-axis because you won't have any counts for every single value within the range, even if theoretically the data could take on those values. So instead we have this representation of density that you should just think of as the higher, think over here, the higher the curve is, the more likely those numbers are to, take, to happen. And the lower the curve is, the less likely those numbers are to show up in the data set. So we're going to get same measures of uh, center, like mean and median. And in this case, we have a left skewed uh, density plot. So in this case, you should ask yourself, which is going to be smaller, the mean or the median? OK, that was me pausing to give you a chance to answer. In this case, the mean is going to be smaller. Because the mean adds up all the numbers, there are, these really small values 
over here on the left side of the plot, these really small values are going to pull the mean down to the left. But the median is robust to those potential outliers in the left tail. The median will not change value nearly as much. Okay, good. So that was a good rehearsal of mean, median, and the relationship based on the skew in the plot. Now let's jump into R and pull up um, a density plot. Let's develop the code for a density plot. So we'll use the library ggplot2. And we're going to start out just the same as before. We'll go ggplot, and then you type in the data frame that contains the data you want to make a plot of. And then you specify the aesthetic, like which variable you want to put on which axis. Here we'll specify weight, and we'll just put one num one variable in it, saying we want to put it on the x-axis. Then you just specify the geometry that you're interested in. So here we're interested in the geometry of a density plot. And different than the example I just gave you, where I hand drew a left skewed plot, here we have a right skewed density plot, and weight is a continuous numeric variable because you could theoretically have chicken's weight be any value in between the range, say 100 and 200. Theoretically, it could happen that you have a chicken that weighs 115.23159278 pounds. Maybe pounds. <laughs> okay. But anyway, whatever the units are there. Even if you didn't have any chickens with that specific weight, that is a theoretically possible weight for a chicken. 